What's going on? It's Suck and I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be showcasing the results that I got when running a number of different benchmarking applications, testing the brand new Google Pixel 9. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so if you are new around here, then I must ask you to hit the subscribe button, clicking the bell to be notified when I upload any of my up and coming videos. But without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So before I start showing you some of the results that I got with the Pixel 9, I do want to mention that this smartphone also has the Tensor G4 chip along with the Titan M2 security call processor, which is basically identical to the Pixel 9 Pro and the Pro XL. The only difference being with this smartphone, you have 12 gigabytes of RAM as opposed to 16 with those Pro models. So anyway, the first benchmarking application which I ran on the Pixel 9 was Geekbench 6. Now I started off by running their CPU test and when running the CPU test, I got a single core score of 1,738 along with a multi-core score of 4,202. And that multi-core score is some ways down compared to the 4,781 that we saw with the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Also through Geekbench 6, I ran their compute tests and I started off by running the OpenGL test. I got a score of 6,569 and when running the Vulkan test, I got a score of 6,949. The next benchmarking application which I ran was once again from Geekbench, however from their newer set of tests found in Geekbench AI. Now I started off by running the CPU test and when running this test, I got a single precision score of 1,392, a half precision score of 1,303, along with a quantized score of 1,967. I also tested the GPU's AI performance and got a single precision score of 624, along with a half precision score of 722 and a quantized score of 705. I also ran the NPU test to test the NPU's performance in the Tensor G4 chip. And with this test, I got a single core score of 316, a half precision score of 4,575, along with a quantized score of 6,292. I then wanted to start testing the graphics performance of the Tensor G4 in the Pixel 9. And so I ran a number of different graphics tests and I started off by running GFX Bench. Now it's important to note that with GFX Bench, it runs a number of different tests which vary from both higher and lower levels of intensity that I run both on and off screen. Now in the interest of saving some time, I have calculated the average for these categories, but as always, I will show you each individual result. So the average that I got for the higher intensive tasks was an average frame rate of 86.15 frames per second, whereas for the lower level intensive tasks, I got an average frame rate of 165.33 frames per second. The next series of graphics benchmarks that I ran on the Pixel 9 come courtesy of 3 Mark. Now I started off by running the slingshot test, which was quite useless on this device as it had maxed out every single aspect of it from its graphics and the physics score. And so I then ran the slingshot extreme test and well, there was no change here with it maxing both the graphics score and the physics score. So I then decided to run the wildlife test so when running the wildlife test, the Pixel 9 scored 7,897, with it scoring an average frame rate of 47.29 frames per second. And when running the wildlife stress test, the best score that it achieved was 6,561, with its lowest score being 4,429. The next test that I ran was the Wildlife Extreme test, and when running this test, it scored 1,825, with it scoring an average frame rate of 10.93 frames per second. 
I also ran the wildlife extreme stress test and when running this test the best score that it achieved was 1920 and its lowest was 1321. I was unable to run the solar bay ray tracing test on the Pixel 9 as I believe the G4 chip in the Pixel 9 does not support ray tracing. And so I then ran the steel nomad light test and when running this test it scored 988 with it scoring an average frame rate of 7.3 two frames per second. And when running the Steel Nomad Light Stress Test, the best score that it achieved was 1016, with its lowest test being 506. And so we can certainly see that when it comes to pushing this device for a sustained amount of time, that it will lower the performance. Also using Basemark GPU, I ran their off-screen Vulcan test, and with this test, the Pixel 9 scored 15,744, with it scoring an average frame rate of 157.45 frames per second. And when testing the OpenCL performance off-screen, it now scored 14,957, with it scoring an average frame rate of 149.58 frames per second. And when running the official native Vulcan test, it scored 12,562, with it scoring an average frame rate of 125.63 frames per second. And finally, when running the official native OpenCL test, it scored 14,025, with it coming in with an average frame rate of 140.25 frames per second. I then wanted to test the networking capabilities of the Pixel 9, so I then ran a network speed test and got Wi Fi download speeds of 540 megabits per second, along with upload speeds of 95.7 megabits per second. And when testing the cellular capabilities using the EE network here in the UK, I got cellular download speeds of 31.8 megabits per second, along with cellular upload speeds of 25.8 megabits per second. I then ran a disk speed test and got sequential write speeds of 203.93 megabytes per second, sequential read speeds of 307.13 megabytes per second, along with random write speeds of 13.80 megabytes per second and random read speeds of 19.65 megabytes per second. It also came in with memory copy speeds of 4.83 gigabytes per second. I also ran another disk speed test and with this test I got read speeds of 694 megabytes per second along with write speeds of 140 megabytes per second. I also ran the AI benchmark and the Pixel 9 scored 724 and it's a steady increase over the Pixel 8 score of 655. When running the Antutu graphics benchmark on the Pixel 9, it scored 880,430. Also through Antutu, I ran their storage speed test and got sequential read speeds of 1,973 megabytes per second, along with sequential write speeds of 1,067.7 megabytes per second. I also got random read speeds of 643 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of 577 megabytes per second. I also ran the Antutu HTML5 browser benchmark and when running this test the Pixel 9 scored 53,523. So if you are new around here, then be sure to subscribe, smacking that bell to be notified when I upload any of my up and coming videos. I will be comparing the Pixel 9 to the Pixel 8, the Pixel 9 Pro XL, along with the up and coming iPhone 16s and a handful of other devices. So whether it's performance or the cameras of these devices, Super Duper Tech is where it is. So be sure to subscribe, smacking that bell to be notified when I upload those videos. Be sure to go and hit me up on my social media, that's X and Instagram. I'll leave them linked down below in this video's description. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care and have a good one.